What's up guys? What's going on? Oh, uh, I left a little bit later in the day because I uh, I slept like a log. I was uh, I was tired. Wow. I can't believe how tired I was uh, from I don't know. I wouldn't say from yesterday's ride, but it must be because I got a lot of sun yesterday. I did stay up a little bit last night, but also, I mean, I just I just had a deep deep sleep really deep sleep so I woke up a little bit later a little lethargic this morning but I looked at the weather 70 maybe 69 degrees but 70 and uh, very sunny and yeah it, it is it's warmer I could tell spring is just right around the corner for me I could tell right away uh, <laughs> while I was getting ready outside I already had like a bug or a beetle or a bee or something fly right by my my head and around my ear and freak me out already so when the bugs when it gets warm like this the bugs start coming out so I, I know that uh, spring is right around the corner Ugh. grass is still dead oh, it's dry it's dry out here which is good Glad it's dry. Uh, my legs are a little sore. A little sore from riding the bike. I guess. <laughs> I guess uh, a little bit of uh, muscle muscle training. The muscle stimulator, and then just general calisthenics, pushing my. Uh, pushing uh, the limits of my physical abilities a little bit. here I'm going to Dunkin Donuts T-Mobile Tuesday that was yesterday so today must be Wednesday so uh, so we're gonna be we're gonna be going to Dunkin Donuts today that was the uh, February e-gift card giveaway we got more gift cards for me, <laughs> not for you guys, sorry. We got more gift cards for me, not for you guys. Uh, we're gonna take the kids. I already got like one free drink from the Dunkin' app. So, and plus we, we got $6 worth of gift card, $2 each. I get three phones. T-Mobile. Which used to be just letting the cars go by. Which used to be 
uh, Sprint. Now it's T-Mobile, so that's why T-Mobile Tuesday. Anyways, so I got three phones, six dollars, two dollars each. We'll take it. Probably just gonna order drinks. We're getting tired of the donuts right now. <laughs> It's a little too much for us. We don't eat that much donuts. Or maybe we'll get those little round bite donuts. Donut bites, I think they call it. Anyways, gonna make my right hand turn. So I think today I'll talk a little bit about uh, group rides because by the time you start watching this, it may be spring or may be rideable you may be able to ride your electric bike so and so you'll be I know some of you are itching to go to a group ride so I want to talk a little bit about group rides and one of the reasons I don't do group rides looks like school is gonna be out yeah I got out here a little late so a couple more hours school is gonna be out I might I think I'm gonna take a different route coming back I want to avoid the uh, the middle school, or at least the high school. So, or maybe I'll maybe I'll go to the sports park. Let's check out the sports park. So, group rides. Why don't I go on group rides? Well, you know, I just find it very odd that people would drive their electric bicycles to a very far off distance because they definitely don't ride their bicycles to the, to the meeting point, to the group ride meeting point, and then basically ride to nowhere, just go in a big circle. But you know, we all, I know we all go in a big circle, right? We go somewhere else and we come back. But usually we have a destination point and a purpose for, for riding your bike, right? Unless you're doing it for exercise. Why would you need to go on a group ride for exercise? But anyways, you know, I just find it very silly that you have an electric bike and then you need to load your electric bike onto a vehicle, drive somewhere. <laughs> which kind of defeats the purpose of this electric bike being environmentally friendly. That's one of the push for having electric bikes is you can get rid of your car. I think most electric bike users still have a car. I'm pretty sure of it actually. And the people who don't have electric bikes or don't have cars but own electric bikes, they're not going to group rides. They're too busy. They're too busy riding their bike to work or trying to make money off their electric bike to go on group rides. They don't have a car. And plus they don't have a car, so they're not gonna ride all the way to the meeting point. So, group rides are a curious thing. Now I know that it's, it's fun. It's a great way to meet people. But uh, maybe after the first two or three group rides, I would get very bored and very tired of going on group rides. And I get and I get kind of tired of going to group rides. It just doesn't make sense for me. That's why I don't go on group rides. Why would I take my electric bike, put it onto a car or into a vehicle, drive someplace just to ride my bike? It just I don't know, it just doesn't that just doesn't compute. <laughs> does not compute. It just doesn't make sense. So uh, that's why I don't go to group rides. Unless there's a group ride here, actually, in my community, which I think there is. There's like, uh, I see a lot of road bikes, usually during spring and uh, summer. They'll do a lot of group rides. I see them a lot. They got to be doing group rides. Again, I'm not sure if they're actually driving someplace to meet and then riding the bike. If I ever did go on a group ride, I think uh, the kind of group ride that I would go on 
which the scoop ride doesn't exist, but it should, is some place that you meet and uh, go somewhere, go to the beach. And not only, not, not ride along the beach, go to the beach, <laughs> like meet somewhere. Maybe a group of friends, a small group, doesn't have to be a large group. Meet somewhere with a group of friends, make it personal, you know, and ride to the beach and then spend the day at the beach, right? Pack your stuff if you can pack your stuff. That, that'd be the challenging part. So, the kind of group rides that I'm envisioning would probably be something like you, you mainly would ideally have something like a cargo bike or if you have something to tow on your bike because you're going to need some stuff especially if you're going to the beach right you need some towels and maybe some food unless you're going to buy food over there i guess you can go light you can just ride the bike just pay for food you know you can definitely do that but like that's kind of like the group ride i would want to go like some place where you would go go and do not just ride around and then after you're done drive off oh big tractor trailer what is this guy gonna do i'm gonna let him yeah i think i think the tractor trailer wins <laughs> there's another one up ahead or no that's just a go-kart i guess they're just uh scraping leveling the uh decomposed granite which is nice to see they're starting to maintain it. They know that spring's around the corner too. So they're probably spraying pesticides. I smell a little bit of chemical. It smells like chemical. So they're leveling the uh, the trail here, which is nice. So back to group rides. Yeah, I like to see more personable group rides. Not this massive group ride to go somewhere, take a picture, and then ride on right off somewhere. Oh yeah, they're spraying for chemicals. I can see the spray. I don't want to get... I don't want to get into the spray. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go up the levee. I couldn't make it. Oh, I could not make it. I started slipping. Oh, I, just, I, just, <laughs> I started slipping. Once I got to the top, I was slipping out. Yeah, I don't want to follow that thing. Let's pedal assist down a little bit. Gear up to pedal assist three. Oh. The tree pollen is moderate. My nose is starting to run. Ooh. Yeah, I'll go around. Let's do some off-roading on this lovely, lovely day that we're having out here. here can I uh, I'm that's oh, all right I'll just keep going nice sunny day like this it's nice to be out here out in the open grass hasn't grown back yet so yeah I think large group rides are not for me they just don't fit my style I would I wouldn't, I'm not really interested in putting my electric bike in a vehicle driving somewhere to ride my electric bike. That kind of defeats the purpose of, in my opinion, having an electric bike to begin with. If you have an electric bike, ride your bike there. Of course, I think a lot of these places are too far away. They would never make it. If they do make it, their batteries would be so depleted that they couldn't go on the group ride. 
Oh, someone's resurfacing their pool or just they've made a pool in their backyard. Nice. Yeah, spring is just around the corner. There's some there's black vultures. Looks like some black vultures over there. Yep. Uh, just looking at the levee, I see a lot of turtles. They're running away. I'm way up here. <laughs> They're running away. More turtles. The turtles are out. It's, it's going to be a nice sunny 70 degrees. It may even be warmer down there in the valley, or I call it the valley, but the, the, into the levee. It doesn't get a lot of wind. It's probably nice and warm, warming up that water. So yeah, if I ever did a group ride, the group ride, what I would like, it's kind of small. It probably wouldn't be public. I wouldn't make it known. I'd try to see if I could find other people. I don't have, I don't have that many A-bike riders where I live, so I, that's why I don't have any group rides. But if I did, just take a small group, go out someplace, and enjoy your time out there. Whether it's riding in the bike to a park and then enjoying the park, not just riding through the park, or going to the beach, not riding by the beach, actually enjoy your time at the beach. Or going someplace to, you know, eat someplace together. That's more of the group ride that I'd be interested in. Not this massive group ride just to ride around in a big circle, then get on your car just to drive home. Drive someplace with your e-bike just to ride your e-bike. I've never understood that. And now if you're traveling and you can take your bike because you like to explore an area, that's you know that's a totally different thing, but taking your e-bike into a vehicle, driving someplace just to ride your e-bike and then drive back home. Yeah, that's not something I'd be really interested in doing. Just not. Looks like the looks like they are open. Uh, yeah, they have a gate here. Locks at night. You know, I could still get over here. I would have to lift the bike up, or I can go around the other part of the levee to get here. But anyways, that's all right. I use the I use this. I come here mostly during the day. Spring season's about to start. They're going to have baseball here, soccer, lacrosse, football. Football? No, football is already happening. Super Bowl is coming up. But what is this? All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, go out to one of the lookouts. Uh, oh, it's a really nice day out here. I don't know. No, no, no I changed my mind. I'm just going to go over to the uh, rest area. There's a restrooms upstairs. My second place here uh, that I like to go, wherever there's a restroom, those are my pit stops. I'm going to enjoy going to the restroom here. See if my bike can uh, make it up the uh, the ramp to get to the restroom. I don't like leaving my bike. I doubt it's going to get stolen, but still, I just don't like leaving my bike out here. So let's give that a try. I'm going to go and use the restroom here. Have to take a wide turn. Yep, got to put my foot down. I'm just using the throttle. So just throttling here. Using the brakes to kind of slow me down. Oh, I'm not going to make this turn. I'm not going to make this turn. This is a bigger bike than the Red Mini. Okay, I made it. Got to take wide turns. All right. Ooh, okay, my Red Mini can make it up the ramp which is nice. It's for handicapped people, so 
Ah, uh, man's restroom is back over here. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna park my bike here. Enjoy the view. Kind of getting the shade out here. It's not too bad. Definitely gonna use the bathroom. It's it's open. All right. All right. Please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. See y'all next time. Bye.